Well, he is a UK basketball legend as well as a Hall of Fame NBA player and coach. And now Dan Issel is on a mission to bring the NBA to Kentucky. That's right. It's on with Dan Issel. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm great. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. me. You know, we're going to start. We'll start with UK basketball because the AP preseason poll just came out. Michigan State is first. UK is second. Kansas third. Duke fourth. And Louisville fifth. So this is this is going to be an interesting season for both teams in Kentucky. Don't you think? It, it, it really is, and Chris Mack is doing a great job uh, with the Louisville program. And I happen to be one that thinks that basketball is better when both programs are at a very high yeah. level. So as long as Kentucky's uh, beating Louisville and yeah, recruiting, well, I would sure. agree with that yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a given, Jennifer. That's what are your sure. thoughts about this year's Kentucky team? You know, uh, their backcourt is sensational. Mm -hmm. uh, the guards are in great, great shape. I think the success of this team will depend on how well the big guys do. And there's a couple of them, especially Montgomery, who was a good idea that he came back this year. Yeah. But he needs, I think, to step up. But we're going to need somebody to defend the goal, and we're going to need somebody to rebound. But the backcourt, they're, they're just sensational. You know, we're coming off the blue-white game. We're looking at highlights right now. This was also alumni weekend. You were out of town and couldn't be part of it. But right. what, what does that mean when you see all of those former players and their families all coming together celebrating this program. You, you know, if, if you played basketball at the University of Kentucky, you, you're just held at a higher level. And the fans are just unbelievable. I mean, it's been 50 years since wow. I played at UK. <laughs> and I that walk down the street and, pe and people still walk up and talk to me like I played yesterday. Sure. It's, it's, uh, it's the best basketball program in the country, no question about it. Absolutely. All right. But above Kentucky or not above Kentucky, but with Kentucky and, and going forward with that, uh, people want to know more about your group and how they can go ahead and get involved with that as well. Tell right. We're, we're, uh, we've been charged with being ready if and when the NBA decides to expand. Uh, we want to be able to make a compelling reason that the NBA ought to be in Kentucky. Okay. And so we have a website, NBA to Lou. And if people would go to the website and get involved, uh, to hit the tab, get involved, they can leave their name sure. and, and their information. And uh, uh, it, it's it's a fun project to work on. Sure. Uh, there's going to be a lot of competition if and when the NBA decides to expand. Mm -hmm. But I think Louisville's in a good position. And, and obviously, we need the whole state, not just right. Louisville. Right. But we need the support from the whole state. And I've been in Owensboro and Bowling Green and northern Kentucky yeah. and, and all over trying to drum up. Uh, and, 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 you know, basketball fans you would think would like this what we're trying to to also bring in is the people that don't follow basketball because an NBA team would be such an economic impact yeah. Yeah. blessing to the state of Kentucky and it would just take Kentucky to another level we're showing there the information you have an event this Thursday that people can uh -huh. come to in Louisville to find out more information and how they can help your mission to bring the NBA to Kentucky that's right it's at the Fall City Brewery Thursday at 630 and uh, we hope everybody that has any interest in the NBA coming to Louisville would uh, come and join us. Oh, Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you all. Great I to have appreciate you. it. All right.